It is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. I deeply appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you could. I re really appreciate that, appreciate that as well. In this video, I'm going to talk about my opinion of buying uh, sealed records. What I mean by sealed records, I'm talking about records of an older vintage, maybe a few decades old. You know, I'm not talking about you know, a new Patricia, uh, Patricia Barber one-step. I'm not talking about a Janis Joplin mobile fidelity, a recent release of that. I'm not talking about newer records. I'm talking about records of older vintage. And um, like I said, I have a personal opinion of that. And I like to discuss it in this, um, in this video and give my personal opinion. Oh, oh, by the way, in the background, cool reissue by, of Sarah Vaughn. An original pressing, cool album. Now, I shy away from buying sealed older records. And like I said, I'll, I'll get to the less part at the end. But um, the, re one, the main reason why is you don't know the chain, the chain of custody of that album or albums you want to buy. And the pride of ownership during that. Uh, chain of custody. I'm gonna I'm gonna give an example. Let's say a record collector who has a daughter, and he unfortunately passes away. And he let's say the a, a record collector lives in in Los Angeles, Greater Los Angeles area. The daughter lives in Phoenix, Arizona. She was able to uh, liquidate a lot of his and sell off a lot of his possessions, but a few possessions were left. Uh, some of which were records. So she takes those records back to her home in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's probably like 110 degrees during the summers. She, during the summer, she's not a record collector. She no, knows nothing about records, and she stores those records in her garage. Okay. Now, and let's say she has those records for approximately five, six, seven years. They're sitting in her garage, exposed to extreme heat, perhaps exposed to um, direct sunlight. You know, she let's say she has a five-year-old son, and the five-year-old son decides to use that record, you know, throw it around a little bit, use it as a frisbee, a frisbee, or you know, he runs over it with his tricycle or something like that. You don't know what what could happen during that record during during her tenure, uh, during that tenure uh, with that individual. And let's say for all of a sudden she says, you know, what, I, I want to get rid of these items I have in my a garage of my father's. I want to sell them at a yard sale, or maybe she donates them to a thrift store, okay? And after that record has been sitting in a hot garage, perhaps exposed to sunlight, you buy that prize sealed record in a nice air conditioned condition thrift store, okay? And you say, gosh, I'm going to take this record, and I'm going to sell it on Discogs or eBay, and I'm going to sell it as, as, as a sale, Okay? And you buy it on eBay or Discogs at full price, a sealed record. Let's say it's a Miles Davis kind of blue. You think it's a late 50s, early 60s uh, version of the record. And you open the record, and you open the record to a huge surprise. It's partially warped. There's groove damage, other damage. It's unplayable. Now, you may say that hypothetical scenario I just presented is ridiculous. Well... Maybe it is, maybe it's not. The point is, you don't know the chain of custody of the record you're buying. And you also do not know the pride of ownership during that custody. So based on that and that alone, I would shy away from buying older sealed records because you don't know, you don't know where they came from. You don't know how, the, how they were uh, cared for. I would only buy them unless they were actually open where I can ex expect them and see the condition of the records. Now, there's some, there's a couple of uh, um, reasons why I think it's probably cool uh, to buy older vintage records at full price. One is some people may have no intentions of ever opening opening the records. Say, for example, it's a um, you know a Beatles um, you know that Beatles butcher cover or something like that, and you're just going to keep it sealed because it's it's probably more valuable sealed than open or something like that. So you don't want to sell that. Um, sell or open that one. I get that. 
The only other reason why I would buy a sealed record is if I can get it at a thrift store at pennies on the dollar. This is a Mobile Fidelity Original Master Recordings Blondie record. Now I paid a dollar for this record, and it's still sealed. Okay, I paid a dollar for for the record. I'm willing to roll the dice on a few dollars. I'm not willing to roll the dice on fifty, a hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars on up on a sealed record. That's just my personal opinion. What's yours? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe if you could. God bless, love, and peace to all.